here at Cobb's Animal Services Shelter that remains closed to the public. It's all quiet on the outside, but nothing but action on the inside as veterinarians and the staff administer antibiotics to the entire population of dogs and cats. Oh, good puppy. Inside the shelter, this all comes after a case of strep zoo was identified last week inside the shelter, claimed the life of at least one dog. It's a respiratory illness that affects animals, can affect both dogs and cats, and especially can spread quickly in areas where animals are in close quarters to each other, such as a shelter. So they've been administering the antibiotics that arrived on Thursday. They started that process on Thursday. They should finish by midday today. This is the second time the Cobb County Animal Services crew has had to deal with a strep zoo outbreak. They had it almost exactly one year ago, and the folks here saying having that experience helps them deal with this emergency. I think we got, were able to jump on it a lot faster. We knew what we were doing. We knew what, ne what we needed to do, um, got the resources we needed very quickly. Oh, what a good boy. We're going to be done with um, our antibiotic injections uh, by the end of the day today, and then we'll have a 14-day quarantine, um, assuming there have been no additional cases, and we haven't had any since um, our initial discovery of the problem. Um, then that 14 days, we'll have a deep clean, the dogs will get bathed, and the cats will get wiped down, and then we'll be back open again. The dogs and cats are given the antibiotic doses kind of in accordance to their weight. And one of the advantages they've had out here, thanks to COVID, is the fact that the population is not nearly as big as it was one year ago. So they've been able to contain uh, certain animals in a certain part of this facility. So, for instance, the dogs and cats that are being brought in uh, from calls are being kept in a separate quarantined area here, uh, apart from the other population. So uh, if somebody comes in to claim their dog and cat that just came in the day before, they can do that because that animal has not been exposed to the larger population. So a little bit of a flexibility there as they continue treatment, hope to have it done by the end of the day, Friday. Then the waiting period starts. They need to go 14 days without any other animal having uh, showing any symptoms before they can reopen once again.